Hi, hello everyone. I'm Katri Saarikivi. I work at the Cognitive Brain Research Unit at the Institute of Behavioral Sciences. But more importantly, I'm team leader of NEMO, Natural Emotions in Digital Interaction. Now, to start off, we need to take a look at the big picture. And basically, it's this. <laughs> Doesn't look like much, but as you know, the processing power of computers is growing exponentially. May not sound like much, but actually it's changing our lives in very profound ways. It's changing how we spend our free time, and it's changing how we work. So basically everything. <laughs> We know that with each year, we are spending more and more time online. And it seems that this time is taken away from face-to-face -face interaction with friends, with family. Work is also changing. The ways in which we work and the tasks that we concentrate on are undergoing tremendous change. You've all seen these headlines about how the robots are coming, they're here to take our jobs, maybe only 45%, <laughs> but it looks like a problem, and the development is quite astounding. And what this means is that in the future, people will concentrate on tasks that require skills that we can't yet model with artificial intelligence, that the computers can't yet take care of. So that's left for the humans. What are they, you may ask? And this is the question about what ultimately separates humans from machines. So it's not these skills that are basically or um, usually connected to intelligence. It's things like creative thinking or, or learning and most importantly, interaction. These are still the things that we beat the computer at. And they will become highlighted in future work life. So where's the problem? Well, the problem stems from the fact that computer programs are designed without taking human emotion into consideration. And the digital environments aren't designed to support learning of interaction skills, for example. And as our kids are spending more and more time online, we're kind of worried that are their interaction skills developing, which is a problem for well-being, and especially since work life is changing and it will require especially these interaction skills of these kids. So, that is the question, that's the problem that has brought our team together, and now for the solution. <laughs> well, one solution, of course, the first thing that maybe comes to mind is, let's ban technology, and just like, restrict the amount of time that kids spend online. Even Steve Jobs was a low-tech parent. We, however, feel that the devices are here to stay, we're very connected to them, <laughs> and we feel they offer wonderful opportunities. We also see that the digital world is a significant learning environment. Learning is not restricted to school, it's not restricted to home or, or the workplace. So, option number two, <laughs> solution number two would be to sort of tweak the digital environment, change or augment the digital environment so that it does support development of interaction skills so that it understands humans, understands emotion. And that is what we're about. <laughs> and here's the plan. Here's what we're going to do. First, we got to do some science. I know that you're, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I know you're not looking for the best research plan, but the fact is the science isn't there yet. And before we have answers to important questions like these, we can't really go forward. So we need to find out, for example, how do children interact with and through media? And could we maybe use media as a socio-emotional intervention? In order to answer these two questions, we're going to create a living lab with our awesome partners and look at the real situations in which kids play, interact, that include technology. We have um, Ule, we have Arto Markku, Juhan Sundström from Ule, and the visionary Vesa Apro from kids' show Pikku Kakkonen. Really excited about this collaboration. We have Anno Sirpiniemi and uh, Turo Pekari from Teosto. They'll provide insight into how people use music. And from Soundage, we have Valtteri Wikström, <laughs> and he's going to help us researchers sort of take the stuff we find out and make an actual application for the business side. Other questions, we're not content with these. Other questions we're going to find out answers to are, for example, a big one, what is the neural basis of interaction? And could we actually influence these mechanisms to create the tweaks that I was talking about earlier? 
big questions, big answers are, are about to follow. <laughs> so we'll do quite basic research in collaboration with two universities. We have Vesa Putkinen from the University of Jyväskylä. He's done really astounding studies on longitudinal studies on, on the brain development of children. And we have Mari Tervaniemi from the Cognitive Brain Research Unit. And we have technical mastermind Tommi Makkonen. So big ideas, big plans. In practice, it might go something like this. First, we create the living lab, as I just said, with Ule. We'll use that to investigate, for example, how kids express and perceive emotion in interaction, in play with the apps. Then we'll use this new knowledge to tweak these digital interfaces so that they permit better expression. We'll sort of amplify emotion or amplify empathy, if you will. We might even go so far as to desi design an intervention for kids who have special trouble in learning these skills. And ultimately, we're going to change the world. <laughs> but <laughs> we know that we are not enough. We need you. If the topic speaks to you, if the problem is, feels as important to you as it does to us, come talk to us. We're at the very beginning. We're just trying to find out what the problem is about and how to tackle it. We're interested in solving a problem. We're not interested in creating the application or creating a game. Especially if you have experience in the following fields, really interested in talking to you. So that was all for tonight. We are Team Nemo. Thank you and good night. Thank <laughs> you.